Hello, everybody. Uh, we're back here playing some Okami. Hey, Pat. Hi, Tim. I missed you. Oh. It's been way too long since we've been here playing games together. It has been a while. I I'm know. A busy, busy man, Tim. You are. You are. You have a lot of good stuff to make. E well, I, I didn't mean, say that, but cool. Thank you. Listen, that's what the internet <laughs> tells you, and that's what we're gonna go with here. Sure. Okay? Okay. Why not? Yeah. Ah! So we uh, last time we were here, we actually went ahead and opened up the village to ourselves by finally being able to cut down that peach from the tree. My God, that was such a pain in the ass. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, we put our sword inside of that peach lady, didn't we? Wait, I'm sorry. That's that's a little bit more graphic telling of the story. Sure, I had a absolutely. dream the other night, and uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Pat and the giant peach, right? Uh, <laughs> Wait, what wasn't she like Dr. Girlfriend too? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, I don't God. remember there being a statue here. It's not a statue, no, it's a human. Well, I mean, right now it's kind of in a quantum superposition of both. Aren't you the little green dude? Yeah, you're playing the little green dude. Uh, no, I'm playing voicing, as Annie. Voicing, voicing. Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what in the world? Oh, God. Damn it, no. <laughs> I don't remember there being a statue here before. Uh, well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. You had to say something. I was going to let I, it go. I don't know why. Well, my brain was just like, fix it. I was like, there was a thing in the past. Let me recall some things. <laughs> oh, I'm sad I recalled some things now. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. You should be, Pat. Why you got to go around being all smart and shit? Because fucking... I don't... Uh, uh, um, yeah, that's a big question. That's a, I that's, mean, it that's looks a nice like, philosophical question. It looks like we restored parts of the village, but... I mean, it's still dark and... Nowhere geez. near all of it. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> you quit giggling at me. Uh, Lord help me. I mean, is, is, is something bad going to happen, I assume? I mean, it's supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty, apparently. Oh, gotcha. Fair so, enough. So I've been told. So so the legends say. Yes. According to the prophecy. The writings. I wonder what's Facebook. going on down there. I don't know. Why don't you go sh it Damn it, I was gonna try and just jump, jump straight the over water. the edge. Yeah, good job. Why the fuck not? Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, gotcha. The invisible wall. There's a wall. Right. Yeah. right. Oh. Oh. Curiosity begs the question. I should be able to... Paint a tree? I don't know mm. if I have restoration... Oh, I do have restoration magic, but it doesn't quite work like I want it to yet. Um... That is black There'll be black. parts later where I'll be able to just restore individual trees. Right. And make them pretty. Right, 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 right. Like once they start being able to sprout, you will I can... make them a bloom. Indeed, uh, make them bloom and sprout their sweet, acorny, nuggety goodness. That's again you with your graphic representations of nature things. Nuts. Yep. Dropping yep. nuts. Everybody seems to be under the influence of Are this. Are you gonna go nut on Buddha? Statue. I don't know who that is. I, I, that. I don't know where the statue is either. I have to, we have to try and find it, I think. Over here? Nope, this is another save point. Yay! I mean... We've progressed. We have physically moved forward. <laughs> yes, that is 100% that is correct, That is Pat. what we have done. We have officially moved forward. My mommy uh, is so proud of me. I almost jumped man, in the water the there. Wall, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> no, I think you can actually jump in that what water. What are we doing? There's I'm a horse! I'm trying statue. In a house? Maybe. Why would there be a statue in a house? Uh, Those you know what, Pat? There is a method to my madness, I'm just even saying, if I may not know what it is. I don't okay? know about you, but I don't keep my statues in my house. Where do you keep your statues, Pat? In the uh, grounds. Oh. Yeah, usually... Well, maybe I should go try and find the grounds. Yeah, no, usually they're all on the uh, road to get to my house. Like, you travel down this little road after my personal butler. Butler uh -huh. 1 lets you in. <laughs> Then Butler 2 will check and point you out to the right direction at the fork in the road. I see. Don't go left. Where does that go? I don't want to know. That is my special little hole. Ah, You don't want right. to go there. Right. It's like Tucker's Rock kind of deal. <laughs> I was going to say like so, Princess Bride where the six-finger man keeps his patience. Yes. Yeah. So go right. Am I supposed to go back statues. in here maybe? I don't know. It's a portal. I'm sure it told me somewhere. I don't know. I'm positive that somewhere well, it told me Well, then why don't you remember paying attention? Because you know what, Pat? I was trying to do an intro to the show, and I was expecting you to read things. Oh, uh, that sounds like bullshit. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, expecting me to read things, the dyslexic man. Cool. Wow. Wow. Why are you just gonna go ahead and play the disabled card? Why be an me? asshole? <laughs> I'm not the asshole. I mean, you know, the six one way half a dozen. The another, disabled really. card. <laughs> How many times has that been used on you? <laughs> what the hell? Is this a recurring thing with you? More do you than constantly you would have people Patton. in like, do you have like Alex Leonard coming up to you and going like, hey, I have no legs? <laughs> End of argument. I mean, yes, but that's usually just because that's 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 just what he goes around saying all the time, Fair right? Point. Like that's yeah. his, that's how he just says hello. Oh, I absolutely. have no legs. Yeah, absolutely. I love you so much, Alex. Please don't kill me. I'm indifferent. <laughs> See him oh my god, where is the fuck is this statue, Pat? I don't know, fucking, it must have said it in the last playthrough, because I don't fucking remember where we are. I just know we're in the village. We are and in the village, like, which is, is where we're supposed to be. Is there a painting thing you have to do? Do you have to restore that rock into a statue? Do you have to paint the statue? I don't think so. Oh my god! There's just supposed to be a statue that I go and interact with, maybe. Well then. Possibly. Sounds like you need to get your little doggy ass to that statue. I know. Any statue? I mean, these ba guys basically are statues. What, what in, in the, the world? world? I don't remember there being a statue here. That's a statue. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to it's the It's clearly villagers. a person, but it's a statue. You are, you little fucking asshole. Okay, maybe I'm just supposed to go down here and talk to the rest of the villagers that have also been turned to stone. Maybe. And then, and then yeah. eventually to be like, oh, okay, this is your objective. You did a thing. Yep. Yeah. What do we Damn have here? It. It's a lady with a bucket. Hey, okay, here's a statue here, too. Yep. It's like the villagers have been turned to stone or something. Not again! That's, one of the, that's not one of those smaller monsters that's lurking about. A roar like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Oh, God. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Oh, my golly. I'm gonna guess zero people have a pulse around yeah. here. Yeah. For now. Also, there's, there's a pod there's up there? There's a butt. Uh, yeah, pot. Yeah, like some sort of apricot that we can that we can possibly grab onto. Apricot or that or that peach booty. Mmm, that peach goddess booby. <laughs> peach goddess booby. I know what I said, Pat. You know what I meant. Singular. Just because they weren't the same thing. Singular peach booby. Yeah, sure. Why not? Maybe it's dark outside the village too. What's the nipple on it? No, that's that's a peach for a butt though. There's a butthole on a peach. Uh, isn't, I mean, that's the peachoid in Gaffney. But there's We no... talked about that. The peach butt, the giant peach the butt peach. that they show in, in House of Cards. <laughs> the peach butt. I'm sorry. Is that a word too? Peach it's, butt. That's what it is. It's, it's a, a peach butt. It's a giant peach butt. Because, I mean, it's turned upside down so that literally, like. It is a. It is butt shaped. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine a heart upside down. That's literally the peachoid. Okay, now we're supposed to go up tall ah. and take a look around everything. This is bad. Way to go. Now you notice this is bad. The sun's not even shining in the sky. There is no sun. Everything's black. Black entirely inside of your soul. Uh, Pat, I'm not entirely comfortable with the way you said black there. What? <laughs> I feel like you might want to do some soul searching, sir. <laughs> <laughs> is that like the Robert Durst when you yeah. feel guilty you're just having the, the vomit <laughs> words? <laughs> the the black the black black This is royal blue uh, black. Ooh. Oh <laughs> circle the, royal. Sun. the pen is blue The goddamn pen is blue God I love that movie so much Carrie Elwes makes a really good super strange because I never think of him as like in that movie because he's such a doof. Yeah, he's not a hero. He's just this guy. Yeah, he's just that the you're just like dad. slightly annoyed about. You're not like so against him, but you're just like, eh, uh, you're why just, are you you're trying? Just kind guy. of a tool. You're, you're not Jim I mean, Carrey. Why try? <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, mm, you're and then like hair to the claw. Later on, you look at it, you're just like. That was Carrie always. I know. What the fuck is he doing? Why is he? Okay, yeah, no. Look, apparently somebody offered I mean, him a contract I and hope he just said it was as fun. you wish. Yeah, yeah, no, I hope it was fun. <laughs> hope Barry had fun on that shoot <laughs> from 10 years ago. I'm probably. sure he did. Are you kidding me? That can't have been anything but his Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially Ooh. the bloopers out of that thing. We just got the sunrise technique. Oh my god! We can actually just draw the sun in the sky. What? Yeah, if we end up in a place where it's dark or there's night or whatever, we can turn it from day to night. 
Oh, oh. we're that can't be good for the planet. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder if we'll be able to go. Uh, you know what? I said that backwards. From night to day. I wonder if we'll be able to go from day to night at some point. Yeah, no idea. It's called the Celestial Brush. And you're shitting out music notes. After all, blink, you're br blink, wait what? Blink. Wait, you were. Oh, okay. Yeah, go on. Fair enough. After all, your brush should bring out the sun. Well, Emmy, let's get back to the village and see what we can do about these people. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal. Hey, Amy. Hey, look at that. It's a little... Uh... Hey, look. It's a oh. voice roll for you. <laughs> Who are you? <gasps> Is that a tangerine? <laughs> or, or a nectarine? It's an orange. Oh, I wish I could impersonate fucking uh, Mr. Orange from goddamn whatever. Uh, Reservoir Dog. Yes, there Reservoir we go. Dog. Oh my god. god. I, I was stuck on the usual god, suspect. I was, like, like, I, was, I was like, the usual, no. The sus, no. No. A white wolf. Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shinui. You still have problems with that word, huh? No, it can't be. <laughs> Shut up. That story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shan. And this dog's like, I don't know what you're talking about, old man. I just... I'm a dog and yeah. can't understand human language. Wolf. Go on. Bow, on the wow. other hand, you don't look quite as smart. It actually kind of looks a little bit Sheba-esque here. It does look Not like that. Kevin. It does yeah. look like a little Kevin. Yeah, like just a pure white Kevin. Oh. Oh, we're going into what battle stance now. What the fuck, dude? I was... Whoa, 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 no need to grow like that. Oh, fuck, doggies. Look at oh. Mr. Orange with the Kung Fu moves. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Oh, oh, yeah. You're, yeah. you're a dog. Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. You know what? Are you saying that I'm old? <laughs> Is that what you're saying, old man? Because I don't know that I'm Oh. Oh, God. She saw the enemies. They're tree men. They are ancient Japanese paintings. Oh. Uh, I found out something interesting during the break. What? This whole game is actually based on a very, very real Japanese legend. In fact, the three weapons that we're going to get mm -hmm. exist in the world. That's it. That's The mirror, cool. the jewel, and the sword. They're actually three relics that are held in one of the, the big holy shrines in Japan. I forget the exact details, but oh, they dope. are supposedly uh, weapons that were... They, they existed. And it's kind of really cool that those legendary items, as it were, the air quotes going around and that the audience can't see, uh, kind of exist, you know? No, that's freaking awesome. I mean... I want to say that... Um, it makes sense that Japan would be the people to be like, yeah, no, we have them. Yeah. They're real. Yeah. And uh, I want to say that the story goes that the, um, the mirror actually got destroyed in a fire, the original one. Uh, and the sword kind of fell close to a similar fate. But the jewel is actually the original jewel that was <laughs> but the Jews. in olden time. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the Jews. Those are the real Jews right there. No, Still the, around today. The, I'll tell you, and I'll tell you this. The jewel whip is actually Whee! my favorite weapon in this game. I'm sorry, the what? We actually get a, a whip that we can use to... Jewel whip. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they're more like jewel beads, like prayer beads. Uh-huh. Kind but of. you use them as a whip. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. The jewel whip. Yeah. Good Now job. I see what you're saying. Way to saying. go. Yeah, I was going to gloss over it, but no. We got ourselves some praise? Interesting. I guess that's a new new kind of currency. You can get... Like, physically pray? I don't fucking go on. What? Well, you did a good thing. We restored that little pond that you were talking about earlier. So we got the physical form of praise? Yeah. We are a physical form of a god. Why not be able to manifest the physical form of praise? Is that like dollar dollar bills, y'all? It's more like the spirit bomb, where Goku is able to just kind of pull the energy and oh, manifest it. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Sweet! Yeah, right? All right. Japan. <laughs> you got, I mean, it all bounds together, Pat. Every single thing you've ever Japan. watched prepared you for this story. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no. That's because reading an area of a monster... Uh, of monsters restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. <laughs> The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Oh. Few people believe in the gods these days, and that may weaken you, but if you try real hard, your true power might just shine through. But boy, there's sure been a lot of monsters around lately, and that Mr. Orange you toss up on the sacred deck looks like he thinks you're just a regular wolf. 
So the more good dogs, the more good gods. <gasps> you know what I just noticed, Pat? Jesus. <laughs> he actually didn't see our markings. He saw us as a regular white dog. Oh. Wolf, whatever. So he just sees a We're dog. We're not, like, but affluent not... enough in the world yet to be seen as our real goddess self yet. Hmm. That's it. I never noticed that before. That's quite cool and interesting. Like the gods have grown so weak that people can't even see them anymore. Your texture work is fun looking. <laughs> what do you mean my texture it's work? It's so stretchy. Well, I mean, it's fucking pixelated as it shit, so Pat. It's so stretchy. It's not my fault. UV layout. I have a feeling that we're in for an epic adventure. <laughs> This should be fun, furball. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right. You're the furball. Oh boy. You're the silent bob over here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's actually more apt of a metaphor than I meant it to be, and I apologize. I apologize profusely to both Kevin Smith and you, Pat. God. <laughs> Thanks, man. Do you need that? Do you need that trench coat for you? <laughs> Freshly roasted seeds that loving animals simply can't resist. Hey man, seeds, dude. Why you little devil? Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is an animal food. This is an animal food. <laughs> I saw the One a animal in. food, please. <laughs> please, sir, can I have another animal food? An animal food. Actually, it is just one animal food, so I mean, it'll feed an animal. Well, I'm proud of you for being. Let's uh, use it when we try yeah. to approach animals later. <laughs> Shut up, Pat. There's something good that might come out when we use it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but what the heck, we'll make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot, there was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you check the items you've obtained, just press the start button to open the fan menu. My god. While the fan menu's open, you can check and use the items you have. There's other things you can do in there too. The fan menu is the key to your successful adventure. I know, and here we can look at all the tools that we have, the feed bag, that we can use. Oh yeah, look, it's an undog food. I know, and then we have a little holy bone that we can give ourselves to restore three solar energy. Ooh. Uh, let's see how. And we also have equipment, such as our divine retribution shield that we have right now. This is where we'll be able to get all the other weapons. Such a good name. And equip them. Divine retribution. I know, right? Uh, and then this is where we have all of our individual little stats here. We have a purse that holds so many coins, and we can actually use our praise to level up all our very individual oh, stats here. Neato. This is how you level up the amount of health that you have, the number of times that you can use ink powers without recharging, the astral pouch, which gives you an extra <laughs> life, and, yeah. and then the purse, which allows you to just hold more coins. So it's kind of a neat little RPG-type system. <laughs> if I could fly, I would probably, like, go... Pants down, underwear off, or whatever like that. Fly open legged onto somebody's fucking like face and be like, Astral Pouch! And just like kind of astroturf them as I just like skip off of their head. <laughs> and they'll be like, I believe the ball sack just hit me in the face, but I'm not quite sure. You know, I sat there and I watched you formulate something in your brain. And I believe it was called the Astro Pouch. And I'm pretty sure that you just described an aerial teabagging maneuver yeah. called the Astral Pouch. Is that is that what I just heard? That is right. Pat, you are fucking brilliant. I wanna... I need to do this. I don't think that we can... I don't think that we can move on. I think the episode has to end here. Alright. That's pretty good. Thank you so much. We'll be back next episode. With uh, hopefully more something like... Astral teabagging. I'm amazing. Okay, that was really funny you said. <laughs> I, I just had this image in my fucking head. <laughs> like, I'm really like Patrick the starring it too. Like, <laughs> is that mayonnaise? <laughs> is mayonnaise? <laughs> oh, God.